Hello quilting friends, my name is Mandy Lyons of Mandalay Quilts, and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite sewing tools. That would be the Soft Touch Thread Pick by Clover. Now, if you can see as I turn to the side, there is a very tall little hook up at the top. Now this is going to be something that you use for quilting, and not making knitted objects, although I assume you probably could. Little socks for mice or something. Anyway, um, what this is for is for when you are quilting and you have a piece of thread underneath your top that needs to be removed. This little hook can fit in between the, the warp and weft of the fabric and can be used to fish this out. Now I'm going to show you how I do that. It's a little finicky, it's a little slow, and every thread you have to remove is different. The important part to remember is to go slow and to try not to get any of this woven fabric caught or the batting because it can create a bigger hole than you want. And sometimes you can pull um, pull these threads here and then that will show up on your quilt. So I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm going to focus a little bit tighter so you can see here. That's a pretty big, pretty big thread here. But all I have to do is kind of gently work that in and see there's the hook catching onto that thread. I don't want that to happen. So what I want to do is to Just work on seeing if I can snag that red thread. Right now I've got it pretty caught into the batting. So I'm going to leave that alone so and move to a different spot so I can have maybe a little bit better luck. If I feel like I'm working that hole too much, I will move so that I don't have a giant, oh, that was close. Uh, I don't have a giant hole left. Sometimes all I have to do is get enough of that red out to, so I can catch that with my fingernail. It looks bigger on my screen than it actually is in reality. Let's see if I can pull that out. I have some of the batting with it, but there we go. Now, I was lucky on this one because I managed to get that whole piece out at once. Sometimes you're not so lucky and it doesn't come out. Now, this little batting fluff, you can trim off uh, very close with um, scissors. But honestly, if you keep pulling at it, you just keep pulling out more. Now, I also want to stop because I don't want to make that hole bigger. So sometimes I'll come through and I'll just kind of wiggle it around with my finger and make sure that there's no visible hole. After it's trimmed and I do that and after it's washed, you won't see it at all. So that's my tip. My name is Mandalay Quilts and my name is Mandy Lyons. Thanks for watching.